previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. The better Jesse. And now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Think to fortify these tunnels into town. Hey. You think Zara used this tunnel to get into Beacon Town too? Maybe. I still just can't believe she thinks she could take the admin on alone. I mean, we all knew she was a couple ingots short of a bucket. <laughs> I guess. Can't help but wonder if she would have been a bit more even keeled if she just gotten some darn rest. We've just got a really scary plan as it is. Knowing that at any minute Zara could come along is kind of stressing me out. Well, who knows? Maybe she can actually get through to Romeo. Remind him of the old times. Seems to me like he'd rather forget all those old times ever existed. If she tries to confront Romeo before we can take his powers away, that'll be bad for everyone. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that heck mouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. Just remember, Petra, things look bad for us. But who knows what horrible things are happening to our friends, the people in Beacon Town right now. Uh, great pep talk? I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! Mine, that was loud. Here we go.
you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Exactly. Are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all! It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. Wait, what are you... Put that hand down, Romeo! Zara! I mean, do I know you? Zara! What is she doing? Don't play dumb with me, Romeo. Whatever Jesse here told you, it's all a lie! No, no, no! I'm afraid that's where you stop talking. hope that we can get through to him, somehow. You sound a lot more sure than I feel, Jesse. <sighs> I think I've proven my point. You will stay in Beacon Town, and you will continue to be my friends. Got it? You... you... Don't answer. I know you do. Now, we have a festival to prepare for. Speaking of, Stella? You're gonna have my fireworks display ready, yes? Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. Very good. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. Oh, Zara. How I wish it didn't have to end that way. Uh... Psst, Olivia. Axel! Shop. Quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but yeah. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Are, are you? 
okay? I, I, I can't believe Zara just rushed in blind like that. Well, what was she thinking? Zara was... complicated. But she didn't deserve that. Zara knew the risks. Knew what the admin was capable of. She made her choice. So glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. <sighs> That'll be payback for what he's done to our poor shop. Huh? Huh? <sighs> Come on, hopefully it's not a complete wash. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. It's safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. our way up to the tower. Archie? No, he'd never leave. Oh, is he yours? Watching him for a friend. Let's just leave it at that. Hey, Binta. Justing okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Zara, I'm... A little more aware of how vulnerable we are, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I promise, Jack, we're gonna get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably just fixating on this to distract myself. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. forgotten about that stash are these elytra wings those are super rare yeah got them one time when i made a trip to the end nothing better for gliding what 
was that? I deserve that. But how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah. Ah. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor, just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes. Of course it is! And you are... Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stock, the, uh, stab, well, from the... I'm, uh... <laughs> nobody. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. <gasps> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. Fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about me killing you? Big hit! You really know your audience. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. I was surprised, but this animal is quite the escape artist. I may consider naming her my apprentice, though she will need a mask. Luna, you saved us all. You really are a hero. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. You know about the terminal? What does it actually do? No idea! But you, the other you, spends a great deal of time within it. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, talk it out? You? Wanting to talk it out? That's actually not a bad idea. I could try. Right? I mean, if you could get me to talk about my feelings... It might be worth a shot. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but Elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks guild uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. Grab them. We suit up and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. 
I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato 451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows what to do. See? It's a piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. You're right. Stella cannot be trusted. After what happened in the Sunshine Institute... Guys, I think she's really on the admin side. <laughs> you can say that again. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great! Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can. Because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Stella is the worst, so be careful, all right? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Jesse, dude, just unveiled the new statue you built. <laughs> yeah, it's got um character. Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but whoa, hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> sha. It is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Sha, sha, sure, go with your gut, totally. <laughs> by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yup, coolio, just keeping it the way it is forever. <laughs> yup. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side.
Stella. <laughs> I wanted one thing from you. More fireworks and banners. It's not my fault. I I'm understaffed. Then hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo, that's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect, now we can. Oh, gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you. Hmm. You're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Hmm? It's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide. Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? Huh, that is bold. I'll give you that. Coming back when the admin can just blab you into oblivion? Okay, give me one reason I shouldn't just hand you over to him right now. After everything you've done to me, or not done for me. You can be a hero for once. You heard me, you have a chance to do good, to fight for a cause you know is right. Oh, look who's talking. You could have supported me as a friend, and instead, you rejected me. I can't wait until the admin delivers what you deserve. Nice seeing you too, Stella. Olivia and Axel with me, don't I? Oh. Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah, totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Pinta? The admin. He's right there, right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused, killing Fred, inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly, seeing that smile. It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, you're Jesse. I'm glad we Let's as a go to work. To of course it was mandatory, but I sense that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding just how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except fireworks, you mean, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. No fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without... You know. See? The admin's human. He's messy, just like us. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, 
All we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? This one should give me a blue star shape. Very cool. Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. Sugar cane. Okay, once I've got a bucket, that'll be the perfect spot to fill her up. Hope this isn't stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect. Okay, let's get crafting. There's a firework. Nice. Now just need to. Hey, Glenn! I. Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't. Who? Huh? Yeah. That felt. That felt good. Really good. Maybe we can't hurt the admin yet, but we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second guess ourselves. And we can't let anyone get in our way. Nice one, Binta. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Fireworks ready? Oh, no! Uh, Jesse! Uh, hey, Jesse! Yeah! Jesse, we want to talk to you more about how great it is being your friend. Whoa, hey, 
just need to... Oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Ah! Too slow, dummy! Come at me, ugly. Okay, time to get the others. What was I glad to see that waterfall? Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting... I don't know, another huge... Shh. Okay, okay, sorry, you're right. I'm, uh, being a nervous talker. You know, when you do, yeah. Uh... down, Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That... that's enough. Oops! S -s Sorry. Oh, man, I am loving that you brought the Ocelot jackets back. You guys look so cool. It's not just about looking cool, Jesse. It's a symbol for the people of Beacon Town to rally around in our rebellion against you. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah! telling us our builds were ugly. Wow, I am so glad you guys are all free. I didn't do any of this. What are you talking about? You were laughing, gloating as you teleported people away. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... no. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... That wasn't really you. I don't know how you managed to say so much without saying anything. But you are really good at it. Jesse's telling the truth, guys. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the Potato, but... I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new Ocelots will have your back. Oh, 
Well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Bet Romeo won't know what to do when he sees the star shield. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crush. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Ocelots, charge! <laughs> Excuse me? Nope, nope. No, no. Big no. Oh, that wasn't smart. What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... ugh, bad. Guess it was just a temporary case of death. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant! What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... No, you're not doing any talking right now. Right now, you're just gonna shut up and listen. Nah, -uh, you don't tell me what to do. That's not how this works. <sighs> you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst! Oh, yes! Yes, I said it! I hate being you! Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy! I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want! Ah, it's all, can I have iron and can I have gold? Yeah, that's not how being a leader works. That's just selfish. <sighs> yes, well, it's terribly disappointing is what it is. It's just... But it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you know... You know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that is the best way to proceed. I'm really glad you think so, because I think that's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. <sighs> Well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! Whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these, these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. There is no way I'm letting you do this. Oh, well, you don't really have much of a choice, do you? 
<laughs> Sorry, but it's time to start fresh. Make a new world. Oh well, <laughs> toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk. Stop this. We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go. Come on. We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, uh... I, uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Hashtag potato 451! It was, uh, it was a good thought, but, uh... Passwords protocol initiated. It's him! Oh. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait, he has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. Nobody ever said it was easy to hang on to your friends. Is that...? Password to begin a new program. I 
That was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato 451. That's exactly right. It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato, please? Acquiring potatoes. <laughs> Items dispensed. Thank you. Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. But it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. This is right. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Okay, okay, that sounds like progress, right? Parrot party protocol initiated. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm guessing that's not quite right. Agreed. Sorry, parrots. Good thud or a bad thud? It's Fred? Sara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No take that. <laughs> Jesse, hurry. <laughs> Hold 
don't know what you're playing at. But it ends now! now, now, now. I said it ends now! What? What? Come on! Oh, you, you think you're very clever, don't you? Well, how about we finish this with a little change of scenery? The... the Sea Temple? Kalu Kale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh, that was back when I thought we could still be friends. Huh. Figures. This temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. Give it up. Oh, I am going to... Oh, you don't... Don't touch me! Touch me! Well, ahoy there, Jesse! Jack? <laughs> Care for a dance with the Velvet Tornado? Oh, you wouldn't attack old Jack, right? Well, after everything we've been through together... There's just one problem. You're not Jack! Maybe not. But it's certainly a nice form to use when I destroy you! Yeah. 
Wait, please, please, stop. Don't take all my powers away. Without them, I don't know what I'd do. You abused your powers, Romeo. It's time you paid for everything you've done. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me that! That thought that! That's the cause of all this! Let's go! make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you. And you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... I just wanted people to... People to... is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just... just leave me. My powers are the cause of all this in the first place. I deserve to stay here and pay for the mess I made. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, I've been just so stupid, so blind. You should never have had that kind of power in the first place. Look at where it got you. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll all be over soon. Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. Goodbye, Romeo. The lava gets to that portal before we do, we'll be stuck here forever. Let's move!
me here by yourself? Definitely. Yeah, and not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. And what about the admin? Did, uh... Did he not make it? He's... still inside. The terminal, I mean. Yeah, Jesse left him there. Whoa, like... trapped. Forever. Don't you think that's a little harsh? I mean, forever is a long time. As many people as the admin has thrown into his prisons, it seems fitting that he gets a little prison time of his own. I get that, I do, but... Man, still can't help but feel a little bad. Well, I'm just glad that all of you are okay. And I guess... I guess this is all over? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. I am approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're right there, I can see you. I know, I know, but I'm trying not to sneak up on people anymore. So, no more ninja Ivor, then? Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Oh man, that's awesome. They're gonna be so excited. You think so? That's certainly the way I'm hoping it will happen. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been... stressful, but also fun. So, like, fun, stressful, S stress fun? You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. 
This is best day. Whoa! Hey, Luna. No, Luna, bad. That is the real Jesse. We don't like the real Jesse, remember? Let's just ignore these losers and be on our way, hmm? You understand. Oh, are you still here? Did you just go already? <laughs> My pleasure. You coming, sweetie? Good girl. We're going to rebuild Champion City together, and it's going to be wonderful. Man, Stella is the absolute worst. Can't believe Luna went with Stella after everything. Although, I guess she did get left behind in the Sunshine Institute. Ugh, yeah, that's fair. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, you know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. Hey. Hmm. That we have, Nermi. So I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... <laughs> come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. jeez. It'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. Life on the open road is hard. Foraging for food, shivering in the cold night, constantly looking out for monsters. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. It's time to settle down. Here. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. This is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... Well, I mean, until the world needs saving again. That always seems to act as a nice reunion. Well, hopefully... Hopefully not too soon, though. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know back in Admin's cabin, you said you'd always be waiting in Beacon Town. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Beacon Town's pretty cool. I don't want to miss seeing it get even cooler. Oh, I was hoping that's what you would say. See ya, Petra. I, for one, am incredibly excited. And I can keep being your intern. Oh, come on. Intern? He hasn't earned a promotion yet? Executive intern. Intern in chief. Of course he's earned a promotion. He's co-hero in residence now. Nice. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are... What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. You already have. Come on, you guys. Let's head back to the hall. Guys! Guys! Jesse decided to stay! 
I'm glad to hear it. I know, me too. Just think about all the amazing things we'll be able to do. The new buildings, the new inventions, the new structures. I've got some big plans. Yo, big, radar. big plans that I want to... Anyway, point is, we've got a lot of work to do, and I can't wait to start. <laughs> me neither, pal. Soon. 